Welcome back to Top 10 Central. Here are the top 10 people who are having a worse day than you. Sometimes we just need a little perspective. You know, makes us feel better. Okay. Okay, I absolutely hate spiders. I hate spiders so much. I actually can't look at this. Uh, everywhere I look, I can see the photo. <laughs> I hate this. This is like a full blown nightmare. I saw this TikTok recently. She had her wax warmer on and then she like unplugged it or whatever when she was done using it. And then she went to go and use it again. And when she looked in, there was like a spider like in there, like frozen in the freaking uh, cold wax. Ew, sorry, I'm like, can't speak. Okay. Oh no, this is really, <laughs> this is a very funny photo, but I feel really bad for whoever this happened. So it looks like the ink exploded or something, obviously, but just like, look, look at these footprints. <laughs> Somebody got defeated right here. That's so funny. Dang, I feel so <laughs> bad for them, but that photo is very funny. Oh no, maybe this is a hot take, but shouldn't spatulas just be made of heat proof material? That'd be so hard to clean too. Ooh, not good. I got a pen in her hair and she probably forgot about it and now it's writing all over her back. That's kind of funny to be honest with you, but I do feel bad. I do this at work all the time. Like when I'm at my serving job, I always put my pen in my hair cause it's just like easy and I've had pens explode in my pocket before. So, you know, not a huge fan of that. I always put them in my hair, but I always have like a higher, you know, my hair's always up here. I'm not like a low pony or low bun kind of gal. I don't know. I look like a peasant. Um. <laughs> So I have my hair up, so that never happens, but dang. Man digs 12 foot deep hole without realizing his metal detector was picking up his steel toe cap safety boots. If I had a metal detector and went searching for things, I could see myself doing this. This is fully something that I would do. Sometimes you just aren't really thinking because you just get so excited and caught up in the thing and then you're not thinking about everything. That and he looks it too. He looks it, if that's him. Oh, how did this happen? I hope nobody was in there. I mean, I imagine not, but like, whoa. How do you explain this to your insurance company? <laughs> Dang. Insurance like doesn't pay for some weird stuff. Oh no, <laughs> well, I'm, this is not funny. I'm laughing because it's just like the worst thing ever. You know what I mean? Like it is not, <laughs> this is not funny at all. This, somebody loves this person, fell out of a hearse. Imagine, like what do you even do? Oh my God, I'm stressed. I feel bad for that man. Also like, that's so heavy to pick up. He needs help. Okay, this happened to the plane mid-flight. The whole plane shook and our collective buttholes puckered. <laughs> that's so, uh, that's so scary. I mean, they live to tell the tale, so everything's fine. Imagine, imagine, what would you do? What would you do? Oh my gosh. Like I get a little nervous flying, but I feel like I've done it enough that I'm not really like afraid of it. It's just nervous cause like things could go wrong, but also things could go wrong at literally any point doing anything. And there are like more dangerous things that we do more often. This is an actual nightmare though. Cause it's just like the thing that you're afraid of is like not happening right in front of you, but like, you know, kind of. A little. I saw this video recently. Uh, it was probably another TikTok or maybe, uh, no, Taylor showed it to me on Reddit. Cause I always go on TikTok and Taylor goes on Reddit and we just sit there on our phones for a little while sometimes. <laughs> it was like a video of this pilot showing how like sensitive all of the like aerodynamics in a plane are. And he was like in like a small plane, like not like a big one like this and like wasn't super high. So he like could open this like little hole in the window and he just like stuck his hands out like just like a little bit, like maybe like to here. And he just stuck his hands out of the little hole like that. And like the whole plane started tipping but like now that i'm explaining it it's possible that i just got bamboozled like maybe it's not real because not everything on the internet is real so pilots of the world can you tell me but like so my point is that if um the aerodynamics really are that sensitive what would this have done oh no not oil it's like the worst thing to smash in the store Oh my gosh, that's gonna be so hard to clean up. So many mop buckets, man. That sucks. Dang, and the glass. Just like the cherry on top of a terrible situation. Like I would rather have it be like tomato sauce, even Alfredo, just like oil. It's just all oil. Like to get that not slippery enough for the grocery store. Like the grocery store has to be an accessible place. 
You know what I mean? Like you got old people walking through there. You can't have a slippery floor. That's worse than like a restaurant kitchen right now. I got charged per onion ring and not all the rings cost the same. That's really hilarious. I mean, at least they're close. That's really weird. So you could just get one onion ring if you wanted. I mean, that's an interesting concept because like sometimes you get a thing of onion rings and then you're like, I could go for like four more, you know? So that would be kind of nice to be honest. Want free stuff? I'm just reading the bottom of the receipt. Want free stuff? Ask a team member about joining our Red Robin royalty program. Mm, I want free stuff. <laughs> I'm gonna vomit already. This is horrible. Shout out to the baker missing their nail. Worst part is I chewed on it twice thinking it was a clove of garlic because it's a garlic and rosemary sourdough before I made the horrific realization it was a fingernail. That is so horrible. I absolutely cannot think of anything worse. <laughs> this is so horrible. You're just trying to have a lovely avocado toast moment. No, you had to throw the other piece out that you didn't even eat. You had to throw the whole loaf out. Oh my God, the customer complaint. This is a time when it's okay to be a Karen. Don't be rude, but a little Karen energy is very valid in this scenario. Like I'm just trying to imagine because I work like a customer service facing job. Like I'm trying to think of like, if this was me, like at the restaurant, I served somebody a plate of food and they're like, there's a fingernail in this. Like, I'm trying to think of what I would do. Like, you know, sometimes a hair happens. It honestly hasn't happened to me in a very long time, but sometimes it does happen. You know what I mean? And like, whatever, it's still gross. We'll get you a new one, no problem. But like a fingernail is seriously next level. How? Also, ugh. Okay, took two months to receive this mushroom grow kit due to a misplaced package slip. It arrived like this. Oh no, that's just horrible. No, yeah, that's like something that you cannot have be delayed. <laughs> and clearly just all over the place. USPS priority, apparently not. Oh my God. Gosh, that's crazy. Guys, that's it. That's all the people who are having a worse day than you that we have to look at today. Listen, I feel better about my day now, to be honest, cause uh, it could always be worse. You know what I mean? We're um, pretty lucky to be having a silly goose time, I think. So uh, yeah, that's it. I hope you had a fun time. I sure did. Um, love you guys and I'll see you again soon. Bye. Oops. <laughs> Sorry, I forget how to use the computer sometimes. Oh, it's because I'm in uh, TikTok mode. Ha <laughs> ha there we go. Boom, boom, boom. I like this photo so jarring. I just am so nervous.